Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my daytime skincare routine. I noticed that you guys really liked my nighttime skincare routine that I did with um, all of the products that I own by Kiehl's. Um, so I figured why not just go ahead and show you guys what I do for the daytime. I do get a lot of questions about my skin and how I keep it clear and things like that. To be honest, I don't really have really problematic skin. The only real problem that I have is I get a lot of blackheads on my nose that are really hard to get rid of and then I have some larger pores right here um, but that's really it for the problems that I have with my skin. I do have um, normal to combination skin I guess you would say. My nose and my um, forehead so like my t-zone area can get really oily especially my nose. My chin not so much but my nose does get really oily and that's probably why I have so many freaking blackheads on my nose. But um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I use on a day-to-day -day basis um, and just, you know, let you guys know why I use it. I know for my last video, my nighttime routine, I just kind of showed you guys what I use and gave like a brief like overview of what I was doing. But sometimes like for videos, especially me because I'm such a Virgo, I really like detail. So I figure, you know what, when I watch skincare routines, I like to see them using it, but I'll, I also like to know why they're using it. So if you guys want to know what I do for my daytime routine, then just keep watching. Alright you guys, so the first thing that I do in the mornings when I wake up is I cleanse my skin. So for the most part, when I'm getting ready at home, I don't use face wash just because, I mean... All that's on my skin is like the oil that came through from the night, you know, and then my nighttime skin products. So there shouldn't be really too much to get rid of off of my face. And I really don't like to strip the natural oils from my skin. There's just really no reason. I find when I use really just like strong cleansers and things like that, my skin feels really just dry and like irritated and then my skin overcompensates by trying to produce more more oil so I end up looking oilier or a little bit oilier throughout the day sorry I can't speak um so what I've been doing when I do get ready at home is I will just use a cleansing water to take my makeup off and I'll just pour some on a little cotton round and um use that to take off basically the oil from the night before. So the one that I have been really loving is the Garnier Skin Active Molecular Cleansing Water. So on the days that I do go to the gym, I will use my Purity Cleanser to take off the sweat and the oil just because I am sweating when I go to the gym, obviously. So that is the only time I will use a cleanser in the mornings to wash off my face. And even then, I feel like it's a little bit too much because, like I said, you don't really have that much on your skin when you wake up if you cleansed it. Once my skin is cleansed, I will go in with a serum. So the one that I have been using, and you guys probably have seen this in my nighttime skincare routine if you've watched it, it's the Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate from Kiehl's. This is literally water for my skin. My skin soaks it up. I was using this at night, but I just figured, you know what, I kind of need a serum for the day, especially now that I'm getting older. I really want to be preventative with my skin. It's, um, how I found this product was... I used to live in Oregon and my skin just felt really dry. I was purchasing all of these super hydrating moisturizers just to help my skin and it was kind of not good because like you guys like I told you guys I have normal um, combination oily skin. So when I was using these like super heavy creams and whatever on my face to try to like hydrate it because it just felt so dry right in this area it was just like like my skin just felt so dry um, so when I was using it I mean it would work temporarily but then the rest of my skin would get really oily because the products weren't made for my skin type so I went into Kiehl's because Kiehl's never fails me and I just went in there and I was gonna buy a new moisturizer that was gonna help hydrate my skin I talked to one of the ladies there and I just kind of explained to her like what I was feeling and she was like 
gave me some kind of a test on my skin and sh showed me that like my it was like the moisture level of, uh, level of your skin and told me that my skin was dehydrated. Black, when you lack moisture in your skin, you're just lacking water. So your skin just feels really dry in that area, but it's not really actually dry. It just doesn't have the hydration that it needs. So she said that serums are really good for that because they are usually really thin and they can get really deep into the deepest layer of skin. Really, ever since I started using this, um, it has been helping with that. I still get it if I don't use this. Um, I will still get that feeling of just like my skin feeling really dehydrated. And I think that just comes with like aging. But um, I used to use this at night. Now I am using it during the day and I have noticed that it keeps the oil on my nose at bay for a little bit longer um, than if I don't. So once I put a serum on my skin and it's fully absorbed into my skin, I move on to actually moisturizing my skin. I am using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. They have three different moisturizers from this line. So the one that I originally got was in a little jar. It was the cream version of it and it said it was good for all skin types but I just found it to get too heavy around this area of my skin so I didn't really like it um, too much and then the gel version was not hydrating enough and then I found out that they made a moisturizer version of it where it's like right in the middle. So this is the one that I've really been liking. Um, I, a little bit goes a long way so after my serum is absorbed I will put some in the palm of my hand and just put it on all over my face. My skin feels hydrated for the rest of the day, it really locks in the moisture from the serum and everything and it's just bomb. So once I finish putting on my moisturizer I move on to my eye cream. So I use the creamy eye treatment with avocado from Kiehl's and this is actually what got me to try Kiehl's to begin with. I was getting really dry under eyes, I was getting a lot of creasing, it just didn't feel comfortable and I was just not happy. So I literally googled best um, eye creams and this one came up and this is how I found Kiehl's. This stuff, like a little, the tiniest bit goes the longest way, it literally plumps up your under eyes so that there's very minimal creasing and it, your under eyes just feel so good. And I was using this at night and in the day. I switched the eye cream that I've been using at night. I think I will always use this eye cream. Like it has never failed me. Who knows if I'll continue using the one that I'm using at night right now. Um, if you heard that, that's my dog. <laughs> um, who knows if I'll continue using that, but um, this is like a holy grail. I found this when I was 22. I'm 26. I've been using this for four years now, and I literally repurchase, and it lasts me the longest time. Like, all right, so the last thing in my skincare routine, and this is something that I just recently started incorporating, um, and I think it's because of my forehead line that's gotten so much deeper, and I'm like, what the heck? This is not okay. So I have been adding sunscreen to my skincare routine and honestly you guys I should have been using this from jump I love the sun I love the sun so much and especially in Oregon like when the sun would come out I would literally go outside and just like go like this and let the sun just like hit me because it was like I never saw it the sun is like rare in Oregon it's never sunny over there it's always cold and rainy unless this is summertime you know you get a month or two of the sun and then it's gone so no I didn't wear any sunscreen I didn't wear anything and I feel like that is why that line kind of came at a kind of a young age um but as it's been getting deeper I've been like okay Myra you really need to start wearing sunscreen and obviously it's not going to take away the damage that's already been caused but it'll prevent further damage from happening you know what I mean so um, the one that I use is from Neutrogena it's the age shield face lotion it says broad spectrum SPF 70 I've read articles saying that anything above 50 isn't really worth anything but it, this is a full spectrum with UVA UVB protection which is what you need and the reason that I use drugstore um, we call it sunscreen is because you have to use a lot of it so um, if you read articles if you do your research online you need about half a teaspoon to cover your entire 
face. So that's kind of a lot. And I'll show you this one that I got from Sephora. It's a Clarins. The thing's been coming off. It probably doesn't even work. I just have held on to it. This was, I think, $50. Okay. This, I bought this when I was 23 when I first started seeing those, um, that forehead line and I was like okay I need to start taking care of my skin and using sunscreen and that lasted about a month and then I fell off and you know I, I've been trying to get on the sunscreen game for a while just never stuck until recently um, but this is $50 this is 10 this has 1.7 ounces this has 3 ounces you have to use half a teaspoon of sunscreen on your face for it to even be effective so you can imagine how quickly you would run out of a high-end sunscreen compared to a drugstore one. So this is one of the reasons why I will only purchase um, sunscreen from the drugstore because I'm not willing to splurge on sunscreen, you know. This is just as effective. Just, just buy some sunscreen, put it on your face, you guys. So um, when I put it on my skin... I what I like to do is rub it in my hands and kind of tap it into my skin and I let it sit there for a minute because sunscreen takes quite a bit of time to absorb. I think that's one of the reasons why I always fell off of it was because of how long it actually took to absorb into my skin. You have to really work it in and you really have to commit to doing it every single day. So I do it right after I moisturize my skin and what I like to do is I put it on all over my face and on my neck and I wait about a minute. I'm letting it absorb and whatever excess I have I rub onto the back of my hands on my hands because this also hits the sun when you're driving um but anyways so I will wait about a minute try to let it absorb as much as possible and then I will go back in and I will pat it in again and I rub it back on my hands and keep doing that over and over again until it's fully absorbed into my skin. And it seems like forever, it seems like it's never going to fully absorb. But I promise you that it does and it's going to feel really heavy at first just because it's so thick. But um, just keep working at it, you guys. Like It'll absorb. Trust me, wipe off the excess on a towel or on your shirt or something and then just keep patting it until it goes away. Thank you for watching this all the way through. I really appreciate it. Make sure to leave some of your favorite like skincare products that you use during the day down below to help prevent aging so we can all help each other stay young and beautiful. Um, if you guys liked the more in-depth explanation of my beauty products let me know down below so that way I know to do it for my Kiehl's one or if you guys just want the quick version of it where you guys just see me do using the products so anyways you guys thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the like button share this video if you found it helpful thank you guys again so much and I'll see you in my next video